Hi there, my name is Lorna Lee, and I'm here to show you how to set up a social media monitoring program using a couple free and powerful tools. I'm going to show you how to aggregate the information that you are tracking into one location. Um, from there, you can begin to identify the people or the sites who are influencers in your industry. Um, once you have your social media monitoring program set up, then you can really begin to hear what is being said about your company and your products. So let's begin. The first tool I'm going to explore with you is called Social Mention. Social Mention is a social media search engine that searches user-generated content such as blogs, comments, bookmarks, events, news, and more. So let's go ahead and search by company name. I'm going to type in the name of the company that I work for. and see what's being said about salesforce.com. So here are all the blog mentions for salesforce.com. Over to the left-hand side, you can see that there is a section called sentiment. And uh, sentiment actually will indicate to you whether the mentions are mostly positive, negative, or neutral. You can also see, too, what the top keywords are. Top users shows you who is talking about salesforce.com the most. And here are some of the sources where these um, blog entries are coming from. You can receive your data as an RSS feed, as an email alert, or you can export it as an Excel file. I like to collect my information as RSS. So we're going to click on RSS feed. And then I'm going to go ahead and copy this feed and save it to Google Reader. Okay, let's say I want to do another query, and that query is fair trade chocolate. Let's say I'm a chocolate company and I want to find out who is talking about fair trade chocolate. Um, let's say I want to start by connecting with the uh, people that are Twittering about fair trade chocolate. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is query fair trade chocolate and click on microblogs and then hit search. And so here are the results. And uh, you can start to see by going down this list, um, there are some folks that are, you know, just going to do like, they're just doing one time tweets. And there are other folks here that are definitely chocolate lovers. And if I'm a chocolate company, I want to certainly connect with them. So. This person here, chalk addiction, hmm, I bet you they are really fanatical about chocolate. Okay, great recipes. All about chocolate. So this is clearly someone that I, as a chocolate company, may want to network with. So let's go ahead and grab this RSS feed. So you can do this for a number of different kinds of media types. Let's say if I wanted to figure out what videos are being produced about fair trade chocolate, I can go ahead and uh, query that and grab the feed for that as well. Okay, and then from here, I can manage my subscription. So let's say I'm tracking a number of different things. I can go ahead and add these feeds to a specific folder. That'll make it much easier to manage this particular, um, all this information. And then by clicking on that folder, I can get the whole stream of content right here and just make my way down the list. Let me tell you, after a few days of um, monitoring what is being said um, about your keywords on the social web, you'll get a pretty good idea about who the influencers are and that'll give you a good starting point to uh, figure out who you want to be um, connecting with. 
Okay, finally, Google Alerts is another really nifty tool as well. If you are already logged in, um, you can go ahead and go to google.com slash alerts and then go ahead and click on this link to set up a new alert. So let's say I want to have a new alert created and that alert's going to be organic chocolate. I can select whether I want to have the um, data be um, pulled only from the news, um, Google News, or um, only from Google Blog Search, or from the web, or if I want it to be a comprehensive um, alert. Then I can select here whether I want it as an email alert or a feed, and how often I would like it to, um, to be delivered. And then we're going to go ahead and click here, create alert. And you can also view this alert in a Google Reader as well. And um, since it's about chocolate, I'm going to go ahead and drag this feed to the chocolate folder. Okay, folks, so there you have it. This is how to set up a social media monitoring program using a couple of the free tools that are out there. There are many other free social media monitoring tools that also output data in RSS feeds. Um, go ahead and follow these steps. Gather your information into a nice aggregator like Google Reader and begin to monitor the social web for mentions of your company, brand, and products every day. Remember, listening is the most important part of social media marketing. So um, thanks for joining us today. And uh, this is Lorna Lee. You can go ahead and visit my blog, lornalee.com. Bye for now.